The SEMA show is known for automotive parts, styling accessories, high performance parts, but I think just as big are tools, and we're here with Dito Diaz from Goliath Carts. Your tools are not just boring looking stuff. There is so much thought that goes into these carts, so we really wanted to stop by and learn a little bit more. Uh, Dito, tell me about the philosophy of where your product line comes from. Well, one of the things that we believe in is a closed system. So if you can't close it, you can't control it. So we built all of our carts with that philosophy. Um, we, we look at each department, we do spaghetti maps, watch people walk through, and try and eliminate the waste, uh, wasted movement, uh, inefficiencies, and, uh, and just give people the organizational tools that they need. So when you say you looked at basically looking at different kind of shop environments to, to find the, uh, the bottlenecks and the problem sources? Exactly, each department has them, and we, we go in, we have partner shops that we do all of our R&D with, and we will sit there and watch them for days and just map out how they, how they work, where they go, what they use, and what our goal is to give them 90, 95% of what they need at the car with them. So when we talk about a specific department, right now we're in front of a beautiful um, painter's prep toolbox here. Uh, tell me what makes this one unique. This is not just a red box on wheels. Oh, absolutely not. When you look at this cart, we have uh, spaces for your, your DA, your half sheet sandpapers, your trim tapes, your aerosols. Um, this is one of our, our most impactful pieces. We, uh, we have a patent on a specific paper tree. So uh, again, it's a closed system. When you load your paper in there and you close that door, what you're effectively doing is pulling clean paper from the cart uh, all the time. So no, no more having dust, no more pulling five feet and throwing it away. Um, mm -hmm. So what we've done is we have a piece here. Uh, each of our pieces are self-loading. So when you want to replace the 12-inch roll, you're pulling out just this bar, you're replacing it, and then you're closing the door, and now you're pulling clean paper all of the time through here. And then the paper comes out here? Paper comes out the bottom. And yep. you've got a serrated edge there? To serrated just peel edge. Right and plenty of storage for full-size blocks, all your DAs, all of your equipment. We've even included trash can, the, uh, the torque dispenser. The towels, uh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely everything that you need to work right at the car in a fully mobile unit. Big wheels, very mobile. Everything locks and closes at the end of the day, so you can still, even if you wanted to control your inventory, which is a big thing in our in our mm -hmm. in our space, is you know making sure that things aren't walking away. Sure. You can close the whole cart. It looks very clean and beautiful. Yeah, there is a lot of fun in this, and this is just for body shop guys and and, and paint prep. Um, let me take a look at some of the other carts that you have that are also specific. Now, it's my opinion that the detail industry is just growing and growing. People seem to be doing more and more, and there's more and more things to keep track of, more and more specialized products for exactly. detailing. I see here this says Mobile Detailer on it. What did you engineer into this guy? Um, a similar thing. We, we tried to give, the, again, a place to store all your materials, a very mobile platform that you can move in and out of the, the shop facility. We, you know, we have places to connect all your power so you can run an extension and work anywhere in the shop. But uh, a good example, you can put your interior products on one wing, exterior products on another wing, all your pads, mini pads, your microfiber towels, a lot of storage and a lot of space for you know, full-size uh, uh, buffers and everything down in this bottom drawer, even as far as giving someone a uh, little room for their floor mats. Oh, yeah, look at that. And then in here? Just storage. Yeah. Plenty of storage for the big five-gallon solvents and materials that you need. These are smart um, to keep the micro microfibers clean. Yes, no cross-contamination. And then again, this whole thing closes up and locks. Yeah. Yeah, very cool. And is that on a magnet there? Yeah, magnet, magnet on the back. You guys are thinking, there's a lot of details on these carts, and that's why I thought they were so cool. Thank you know, we build high-end detailed show cars, and I love the fact that people are thinking along those lines and engineering cool products. Uh, let's take a look at some of the workstations. Perfect. So we've been talking about a lot of uh, storage solutions for professional shops, exactly. and here we see a parts cart that I think um, a lot of people in big shops, even medium and small shops, restoration shops, and even home guys have a problem with a parts solution where they can put something on a shelf somewhere, 
pull it down, find something else, put it back up there, something that's in kind of constant rotation. Yes. And what did you guys come up with that? Our carts were designed so that they can, they can be folded and put away so they don't take a lot of space. But the reality is, like you mentioned, as people do their teardowns and their, and their uh, reassemblies, what they need is a place to put their stuff and not have it be on the ground, have it be organized, be able to move it out of the way if you've got another car coming in. And, and what we found is that, like many of our products, they cross over into performance and restoration so well. Um, mm -hmm. And this is a great example. You really need something mobile to put your things on, move it around, get organized. And especially with the drawer and yep. the dividers, uh, there's a lot of thought in these too. It's yeah, this is actually for, um, for disassembly, reassembly. So there's a way to put items in the pan. And then when you're, the, the reassembly tech comes out, he does it in the opposite order so he knows exactly how everything goes on the car. Nice. Uh, we've actually developed as well a panel cart on the back so you can store doors, hoods, large panels on this cart as well. All right, now one thing that we have a problem with in our shop is electronics and computers don't like living in shops. Yes. Uh, they get dusty, they get dirty, uh, they get dropped, they take up workspace. And I'm seeing here uh, a, a tool cart that is looks like it's designed to be housing electronics. Exactly. Yeah, so what we've got here is, um, it's really our flagship product. Uh, it's a powered mobile workstation. And what we've done is we've, uh, we've got inverters, chargers, power strips, fuses, indicators, all of those things, the electronics down below. And we run off two deep cycle golf cart batteries. So Good. this thing will hold the charge for about three to four days. And so as a shop, and you have complete mobility throughout your facility, uh, we've also integrated a second monitor so you can do true dual screen. So you can have one product running on one screen, the second product running on the other screen. We put a printer on board. We have uh, side shelves, uh, very mobile like all of our other products. Um, and it just does the job, whether you're doing diagnostics, you're uh, a body shop and you're doing estimatics, blueprinting. Really, it, it's, it's, a, it's a technology box that can be used for anything in the shop. Yeah, the uses are just springing to mind. I mean, if, if in our case, we do a lot of fuel injection conversions. We're going to tune something. We could drag this over. Uh, technicians entering their time throughout the day could do yes. something like this. Diagnostics. You mean, you mean to tell me that even though we've got AC power, it runs off the batteries, which invert to AC power. Correct. So this does not have to be tethered to the wall with a cable. It does not have to be tethered at all. That's brilliant. And then Thank I you. noticed the struts here, so this whole thing closes up at the yep. end of the day. And again, because we believe in securing all of our, our, our items, we can close everything. Everything locks and can be maintained closed. Printer sections lock, everything locks for security. And then in this drawer is where you store the printer. Absolutely, okay. and it's very flexible. You can put a printer in there. You can really put anything in there, a small thin client, a, you know, some wireless equipment, a desktop. Uh, you can use all-in-ones, you can use tablets. We have adapters for tablets. It's a very flexible unit. It's impressive. And next to it, I see kind of a smaller version of a similar concept, yeah, Absolutely. Right? What we've got is, uh, we call it our laptop locker. Um, so it's a small unit. You can put a laptop in here, use it during the day. When you're done, you can strap it down. And this closes, and we have a keyless entry in the front. So we have a completely secure keyless entry unit. And so put in the code. And now you have access to your, to your device. Now this can be wall mounted as well as on the stand. And wonderful for technicians. Think of a, uh, a dealership or a, uh, a service center and you've got 10 or 15 bays and everybody needs to do their diagnostics. Now you have a secure place to put it in the facility. Okay, so over here we have a black box that looks, you know, kind of bulletproof. What's going on with this one? Yeah, this is a, a another one of our workstations. It's a non-powered unit. What we've done is 
Uh, we, like you mentioned earlier, we realize that shops can be very dusty. Um, we've uh, put inside a very large powered uh, AC fan, so when you plug it into the wall, uh, enough air blows through this cabinet that it provides a positive pressure keeping all of the dust out of this, out of this box. So when you open this drawer and this thing's running, there's actually positive pressure there's blows out. There's actually air blowing out. So it can't get dusty. That's exactly a great, right. great idea. And I see this uh, storage, oh yeah, here's a rubber seal. Yeah, uh, the rubber seal, the clean. adjustable shelves. Again, we like to make our products very flexible, whether you want to use a desktop or a laptop or a notebook or you know anything, we can make it all happen in here. And that's why we've got our monitor enclosed in the glass or yes. in the plexi or whatever this is. Exactly. Uh, very cool. Well, hey, I, I really appreciate you, uh, the way you guys think about this stuff. It's intriguing to me, and I'm coming up with all kinds of maybe even unintended uses <laughs> in our shop with a way to use this stuff. So where can somebody learn more about the Goliath line? Well, absolutely on our website. It's uh, goliathparts.com, and please love us and like us on Facebook. Uh, we love our enthusiasts and uh, our restoration folks, and we want to be there for you. Great. Thanks for taking the time, Dino. Kevin, thank you very much. Yep.